You guys look awful small down there. You still look pretty big up there. <laughs> Hey, good morning. And we're gonna get the dryer going, get the trucks dumped, and then I think we're gonna try to switch the beans. It's pretty foggy down here, so these beans are gonna be picking up a lot of moisture. It's probably gonna be around noon, I'd say, before they uh, fog burns off and we can get going in beans. So we've got plenty to do before between now and then. First thing we gotta do this morning is check what we call the doghouse. This is the doghouse. This is basically the U trough that we dump into. Uh, I just check it every morning. There wasn't any chance of it being full of water, but I don't know, it's just something I always do. One thing I haven't done that I need to do is go up to the top up there and grease that lake and check that gearbox. We do that every year at the start of harvest, and we haven't done that yet, so. Need to do that, it's kind of cool this morning, so maybe the wasps that are most definitely camped out at the top up there won't be moving as fast, because you can't really get away from them up there. You can, but it's a 100 foot fall. Gotta get my supplies. Got a snag, out of gear oil. Hopefully don't need any, but I'd hate to get up there and need it and not have it. Yep, to the top we go. Yeah, we're up here on top of the leg. We gotta grease these bearings on each side, check our gearbox, make sure our belts are tight and everything. From up here you can really see the gravel banks. In these double crop fields come over to this side we'll probably find a wasp nest but you can really see our test plot and the different varieties of corn and that's why we didn't uh, harvest all of it some of those aren't ready yet it looks custom hey grease gun ain't got any grease on it no grease. All right, leg service, so let's get out of here. Didn't even get stung by a wasp, feels incomplete. All right, legs greased. Belts probably smoke off of it today, and I have to go back up there. I can see you two just working so hard down here. Going over here to eat some lunch, but I figured we'd check out the check out the leg. We're supposed to have the distributor and the, the head of it on there today, and then there's have to measure uh, downspouts. Get that on there tomorrow, hopefully. But it is supposed to rain all week. Get something to eat, but this old pokey dump truck is in front of us. Maybe he'll get out of our way here a little bit. We know he's not filming anything because we got his cameras in the truck with us. Bob said he might be talking on the phone though. Yeah, we gotta back this cart out, throw it on a truck. I think we're just gonna go ahead and start shelling beans. We're just gonna put the corn in the holding bin. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll come over here and mess with getting that dryer set. George look good in there, ain't he? I can see the gears turning real slow. Think you can handle it from here then? I hope. We'll call him if I need to bring a shovel. Okay. Yeah, that way I can run. Like I say, the plan is to switch the beans today. Uh, we got a 150 acre bean field just on the other side of this cornfield we were doing last night. I'm gonna start on it. That field goes to wheat, so probably from this point on out, assuming these beans are ready and they're not wet, We'll be running beans until it rains. The fly free date, that's what we usually wait till before we start planting wheat is next week. So we'd want to get our wheat ground harvested so we can you know, plant wheat in it. George is giving Larry a crash course on how to dump trucks over here. Larry's been helping us for a while, so he should be all right. I'm gonna go over and get my combine out and see what we gotta do before we get started here. 
Oh, hey, look, found a corn head. Gotta get some government juice. Apparently dad's in a hurry. And we don't have time for urea, so let's go hook the heads up. Dad had part of his head apart and it kind of accidentally left a wire that has to be hooked up to the McDonald's. Kind of forgot to pull it back out and took the shield off, so I think it's probably good. Let's start with that. Hey, here we are starting to rain. Uh, beans here, Bob Jam. Ron, I don't know, he ain't got started yet. He's a hockey puck that goes in the ball. Getting started here, so now we're down 12 6. I don't know. I don't know if that's what it looks like. It's been off the hill. Just got an alarm saying I'm low in hydraulic oil. There's a sight gauge up top. I'm gonna check it real fast. Yep, slow. I'll go over to the barn and get some. I think we have some on hand. If not, we got some over to the other place. Shouldn't be too big of a delay. Definitely forgot to clean that window. At least I got that one that's cluttered up with monitors. Okay, here we are, dumping soybeans. Okay, we're running right along here. We're going on cruise pilot now, which what that does is senses the crop going through the machine the feeder house, and it will slow down or speed up the conditions. Apparently, our oil reserves are getting pretty low. I guess I probably should have checked before I left what kind of oil that combine takes. Now I think we're ready to go. All right, it's been a very frustrating couple hours, but I think we're finally ready to start. Dad's got 2,000 bushel done already, so at least he's going back and forth. Getting started's always a pain in the butt, so hopefully it'll uh, be smooth sailing from here on out. Hey, clean window, check it out. But this field runs 150 acres, so even though I was going, had to go to a parts store to get oil, fun fact. Even after all that, Dad has just now got it opened up. Turns out it takes a while to open up a field that big. So, uh, yeah, we're just making our first passes back and forth. We don't have the uh, ability to share air A, B lines at the moment. Something we would like to do eventually, but so he's going in front. I'm just following beside, snapping the lines as close to his as I can. And then once we get these lines set, we will break through the middle and one of us will work one side of the field and the other one will work the other side. I don't know how much of this we're going to get done tonight, but we uh, should make a pretty good dinner in it. End rows on this big of a field come out to about 30, 35 acres, so we should be able to get at least 100 of it done before it gets tough. I'd say it is going to get tough. It's been uh, pretty foggy the last few evenings, so we'll see. One of the things I'm really liking about the Emmerford cart is it's shorter than our J&M. I don't know if that's because it's on tracks or if that's the design, but it's something you notice really quick from the combine cab you really got to watch when you get on uneven terrain with your auger dumping on the go you can kind of get it into the bows on the cart something I really like about that one it's shorter I've gone along here and just noticed a good old field view quit mapping I don't know what happens to it but it quits every once in a while same old thing as last year looks like they could figure something out or am I doing something wrong or what it's aggravating. Oh, you kick, throw the dang little thing out. That's a problem that I'm gonna have to address. Got a skid plate that's wore out. Hopefully I can cut a piece of it off to get through today and then replace it in the morning. See what kind of modifications we can do to that thing. Yep, that's the problem. Yeah. I definitely made a good one. Got it. Just realized something. We're in my drone field. I think I've taken drone footage every time I've been in this field. Better get that thing up in the air.
bet some people ask if those tracks on the other foot uh, berm the ground. They seem to a little bit. Here's a little bit of video from the air right here. Yeah, Brian finally got started over there. He made a couple rounds there. I see he had the drone out. I don't know where he's at. They were sliding around there. My wife brought dinner again, so I think we're going to go up all right up to the bins. So we got spaghetti and salad tonight. She's spoiling us. I hope we ain't getting all of our harvest dinners in one week, but we're not complaining. It's uh, almost six, so George is hungry. Kind of dropped a hint, said, no, did Kayla bring dinner today? Yes. Gotta keep him happy. And I'm doing a calibration on my combo or my yield monitor right now, so I've just stopped. I ran a full tank, and we're gonna see how many uh, pounds we come out to. I think I'm off because these are good beans. I don't think they're 85 to 90 bushel beans, so we're gonna check. Yeah, it would appear I'm off. This is how many bushels I measured. We got a 330 bushel grain tank beans. It's only gonna be about 300, 290, somewhere in there. So yeah, we're off a little bit. So find out what we're actually making here in a second. Still getting the hang of this new scale interface. So. George has got a question. I'd much rather he ask me and if he doesn't know and we can figure it out then uh, screw it up. Any more, the scales on the cart are becoming more and more important because we use those for crop insurance, we use them for keeping track of what we got in the grain bins, so definitely want to make sure we got those right. We got our yield adjusted. Field's making 60 from what I've done. I think Dad said he's making it a little bit better than that. He did all the ends on it too. They're good beans, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm happy with that yield especially in this part of the field. And right through here, 70 bushel. So, yeah, not bad beans. Shut down the whole operation for a home-cooked meal. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for the dinner. Tomorrow, tomorrow about 5.30 will be good again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you started something you can't get out. Ask me how I know. That's, uh, just about 6.45. Say dad's gonna send everybody home except for me and him. And I don't know if BJ's gonna run the cart or George. We'll probably just load the truck. I'd say by then we're probably gonna be getting pretty tough. Once some reels start wrapping, we're pretty much done. All right, supper's over. Looks like BJ is going through the George Davis Truck Driving Academy today. Might be a little bit better for school. Here's the neighbors and their Lexion. Got a 760. There's actually, I think, four of them in this stretch of the county, like in this stretch of 10 miles of river bottom ground. Actually, more Lexions than John Deere's right through here. Honkers! I don't know if you can see them. Oh, they're going skyline, right? No, 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 no they didn't. And we're full. What's up? Shelling the place off for George to pull up. Picking the place. Uh, if you guys watch this channel very long, you're going to notice I say we're shelling beans a lot. little dusty getting a little dusty i feel like that cloud is going to cheat us out of a beautiful sunset tonight well bj took george back up to his vehicle and he's coming back to get in the car but we're both loaded see a problem that's no good Class combines are tough, but I don't think they're rated for rocks. See how the beans are going over the reel? I'm adjusting it as best I can to keep the reel out of the beans, but then they're not feeding right. So they are starting to get tough. Not as bad as I thought they'd be yet, but I'm thinking we're just about out of truck, so I'll see what that wants to do. That's it, the grain cart's full. So I guess we're gonna unhook, put the combines up. There's a chance of rain, otherwise we'd probably just leave them out and stay hooked. But with a chance of rain, we'll put the combines up. If it doesn't rain, we'll come back here and finish this field tomorrow. This thing on the wagon. Moving trucks, bumping up there. Well guys, that's it for tonight. We ended up getting about 110 acres done. With two combines, we should easily be able to do 200 acres, but this being the first day, 
having a little bit of troubles, I'll take it. If the rain holds off, we'll be doing beans again tomorrow. If not, depending on how much rain, we might go back to corn. We do have trucks to dump, corn to dry, and a bunch of other stuff to do. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>